Celebrity chef Mary Berg is back on Morning Live making holiday cookies for a very good cause. Good morning. How are you? I do great, Bob. How are you? Good. Good to see you because it's amazing how many good things come out of your tiny little kitchen. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Now you're hooked up with the dairy farmers uh, and it's actually uh, you're helping out children's hospitals, including McMaster Children's Hospital. Yeah, yeah. The Dairy Farmers of Ontario for the past three years have been raising money to support children's hospitals, especially over the holiday season. And this year, they need your help. And that is uh, all you have to do is text a milk emoji and a cookie emoji along with a message of support. And the Dairy Farmers of Ontario will donate $2 on your behalf, up to $500,000. So we have a big glass of milk to fill, and I feel like it needs some cookies with it. So I thought I'd make it Absolutely. delicious, buttery, right? So good. <laughs> Okay, so let's get bacon. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So this is such a great recipe because it's going to make not one dozen, not two dozen, but four dozen cookies, but they are sliced and baked cookies. So you can bake them whenever you want. Store them in the freezer, and if someone pops by, you can have fresh baked cookies and I look like an absolute wizard. So the first oh, thing... Wow. Yeah, I know. It's honestly my favorite thing. You can, like, if you maybe have a little bit of self-control issues, you can just bake two. Or you can bake all of them. Whatever <laughs> floats your boat, you know? <laughs> so all you need to do to make these super simple cookies is I have got one and a half, one and a quarter cup, sorry, of Ontario butter here. And it's unsalted because that way we can kind of make it as sweet as we want, add a little salt later. And into that, I'm going to add in three quarters of a cup of brown sugar because that gives you that nice molasses -y holiday feel. And a quarter cup of white sugar and that gives you kind of a little bit of a crisp but not too much of a crisp so I would cream that together I'm not gonna use a machine here though because that's a little too loud so I did that earlier so I've got that delicious butter and that sugar all creamed together super simple then into there I'm gonna add in one egg white and a little bit of flavor in addition to the butter and sugar so I'm gonna add in two teaspoons if I can get the bottle open of <laughs> vanilla extract that's always the thing. If you do a little bit of a workout in the kitchen, i.e. opening jars, you deserve a cookie, I think. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right? That's a calorie 100%. burner. 100%. 100%. So then all you do is just kind of beat that together until all of that mixture comes together. And that's it for the wet. It's a really good butter brown sugar base. So this is kind of where you get to have a bit of fun, Bob, which the holidays in my house are all about fun. Yes. So, right? So good. So we've got the dry ingredients here, which is two and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. I've got only a little bit of baking soda, just a quarter teaspoon and a teaspoon of salt. And now this is just basically the basic recipe. If you left it like this, delicious. What a wonderful sugar cookie. But if you wanted to, you could add into this dry mixture a little bit of spice, maybe some clove and cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, stuff like that. But I thought, Bob, I, I got to thinking. I was like, I feel like Bob would like, I don't know, chocolate chips. Um, oh my gosh, you know me so well. Right? I was thinking, I was like, this is, I feel like, what Hamilton wants. So, we've got chocolate chip, we have got some chopped cranberries, and a couple, uh, just about a half a cup of some chopped pecans, just to give you a little bit of that festive crunch. And then all I do is mix that together. I'm not going to lie, that takes about a minute of mixing, but I'm not going to make you watch that, Bob. <laughs> hey, well, boy. you know what, we, we would be riveted, because it's Mary Bird. Right? <laughs> Well, thank you. And then all you need to do, once you mix that all together, you divide that dough into four. And what I've done here, if you can see, I've rolled them into logs, and then I've rolled them in some festive sprinkles or some colored sugar, just to give you a little bit of color on the outside. And then all you need to do is you unwrap them. You pop those into the fridge for four hours up to three days, or you can store them in your freezer for up to three months. So maybe in March you want a bit of a holiday cookie. You can definitely have that. Then you just this get is great knife. for hibernating over the winter, though. Right? It's the perfect thing because you don't want to have to go to the store to get a cookie. Well, you've got cookies in your freezer. You just slice off as many cookies or as few cookies as you'd like. Then you've got perfect little cookies. Pop them on a baking sheet. Stick those in a 350 oven for only about 12 to 15 minutes. And uh -huh. you end up with some perfectly baked... Well, I decorated these. Actually, I'm not going to lie. My husband decorated these, Bob. Perfectly baked holiday cookies that are perfect for Duncan into a glass of Ontario milk. So, uh, He did a good job, by the way. Yeah. I and they look amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little too much chocolate on this one. I'll give him a note on that one. But well, honestly... Then, well, that's fine for me. I know, exactly. See, it'd be perfect. Yeah. It's super simple. It's a great recipe, and it's a great cause. And all Fantastic. you have to do... Milk and cookie emoji to 50555.
Okay, we'll link up all your socials so people can get more information on that. Great cause, we can help out McMaster Children's Hospital and other children's hospitals in Ontario. And as we go, we just have a few seconds left, but let's plug your book because that's a great Christmas giving gift, well seasoned. Oh. My book, Well Seasoned, it's got all you need for a year's worth of delicious, delicious food on your table. Great to see you, and we'll see you in the new year. Mary Berg. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, too.